well i failed yes it's true i'm here to admit it uh the first episode of this series went out july 25th 2024 it was my plan to be consistent with the series and then so much stuff happened on hermitcraft and this series kind of got put on the back burner and it happens i apologize for that uh we're back now and i am trying to make amends for that for those of you that have no idea what i'm talking about this is technically the second episode in a let's play series that i started in july i am now naming that first episode episode zero as a pilot and this will be the official episode one now i'm kind of curious how do you guys feel about single player um i've i've been doing hermitcraft for so long it's such a natural thing for me to record but single player sometimes feels a little off and i am kind of curious about how you guys feel about it now do you want to see more of this series uh you know i i want to hear feedback from you guys as to what you want to see obviously i know that you want to see hermitcraft that's a that's a given right but let me know so again if you missed that first episode be sure to check the cards uh also link it in the description in that episode we went to the nether episode one and we uh raided a bastion and got a pickaxe and we built this really cool building or really cool tree house um i'm, I'm kind of second guessing that that tree house theme though i like it as a starter base and maybe we'll continue it but um i think i'm tired of building trees and i want to play single player minecraft to have fun hermitcraft is is the the seriousness not seriousness it's still it's still kind of goofy and silly but we do our big serious builds there and i think this should be a change of pace right i think it should be more fun for us so this is everything that i own at the moment and there we go now the big problem that we have with this series so far is that i have this netherite pickaxe and i have no way to repair it we have no mending we have no xp I can make a diamond pickaxe and I, I will likely most likely go caving in a minute just to kind of get some things caught up. But uh, man, so let me know what you think. Uh, do we continue this series after this episode? Just leave me a comment and let me know. So I think first things first, let's take stock of what we've done. We built this big house. We did some exploring. We've got some good loot. Uh, no books, just that. And we have this cool little tree house, a big tree house with a little little house. I like the views up here. And that's where we're at. So I think it's um I think let's 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 do this thing. Let's continue on. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do today is check out this village. Our base is probably right around the corner there, so it's not super far away. I do remember coming to this village to trade here. At least I think I did. There's a there's actually quite a few villages around here, so I just want to see if there is any librarians or if I have traded at all. That would probably be pretty helpful, I think um i'm kind of getting the feeling though that maybe i haven't been oh there's a there's a blacksmith let's check that out real fast i'm assuming i've probably been here but the fact that i didn't grab any of the wheat is kind of a telling sign because normally i would take all of it doors open probably been here let's see what's in there uh, take that and that okay um so anyways i mean i'm not really worried about not having traded with any of them i'll probably clear some of these um uh book uh, tables out and then try to do a little bit of trading i don't have much to trade with though is the problem okay so good news bad news number one in the 15 or 20 uh clicks through this thing to get mending on this villager i saw some really good enchants fortune three looting three uh sharpness five but here's what we got mending for 36 diamonds that's not diamonds that's emeralds i don't have that many emeralds so first off let's go here make a quick crafting table make this into paper i think we can purchase all of two of these so we got a like a little ways to go here so i think that's our next objective is to find emeralds okay i am back at the villagers now i'm an idiot because i wasn't paying attention and fell and died i'm upset about it because i lost two xp yes i had five now i have three i'm not happy anyways i went back to the base because i remembered when we were looking through the chests there i had a bunch of birch wood no point in mining it if i already have it and birch was disgusting <laughs> let it be that okay um so here's that clip of me i had a lot there i didn't realize i had so much oh 
all right first things first we have got to make a fletching table so let's do that to make a fletching table you need flint so let's see it's a one in ten chance and with how bad my luck is it's gonna be like a one in 30 chance probably oh wow okay okay game i see you trying to make me look bad i am on to your games okay so hopefully this fletching villager is going to be the key to our success because i think that's probably going to be the quickest way to get what we need for the emeralds we need a lot of emeralds but that also means that we can unlock more vill uh, villager enchantment books and hopefully get what we need there we go okay so you you all right fletching table is done let's see what our trades are we need the stick trade in number one spot here baby come on baby perfect all right time to trade So that was actually pretty easy. Um, traded with him a bunch of times. I still have a ton of sticks left too, which means we can get maybe a couple more books. We'll see. So anyways, let's do that. Boom. The problem is, is that I need this guy to unlock his next trade. And I have no way to do that without more paper. Uh, I'm not going to continue to buy that. Okay, another plan. I've changed my mind again. We're going to go to the nether to get the rest of the XP that we need now that we can mine quartz. By the way, it never stops raining oh my god i've been playing this world for like 20 minutes and it's rained like four times it's annoying anyways there's mending good to go there let's put some of this stuff up real fast put that up and i'm gonna be honest with you i don't remember if i have been to the nether or not to be 100 percent honest with you also i'm pretty happy that i left my food over there we're doing real good today i have to go back over there and get all that bread anyway so before i go to the nether i will do that i'll take this with me so we need a bucket of water grab that and a flint and steel um i have a bunch of gravel over at the villagers so actually i should have a piece of gravel no okay well never mind we're doing good team we're doing good there is a lava pool right around the corner so we can kind of see what the nether is going to look like by our base if you go over it's like right right there right 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 there so anyways gotta go be stupid and get my food also made a small sugarcane farm to hopefully be able to trade more all right time to go to the nether i've got myself plenty of food and all the materials that i'm going to need one thing that um, this world catches me by surprise every time I play it is the fact that it's so beautiful. This is a randomly generated seed and the seed itself is that right there. I don't remember if I showed that in the first episode or not, but it is a wonderful one. All right, so let's see. Let's make another portal. We'll go. Let's do it like right here. I think will probably be best. It's a little bit of that action. Then remove that. Then we got to get the bottom out. This is my favorite thing in the world to do, by the way. Grab that. And then over here, one, two, three, over here, here, and then break this out. Put the water there. So simple. Okay. Hopefully this isn't a sketchy nether. You know, I'm so stupid. <laughs> guys have i been to the nether before i only have a netherite pickaxe jesus jevin get your act together man oh so yeah i've definitely been to the nether okay so starting to come back to me now a little bit oh my goodness what is our cords cords are negative 93 so we'll go chat negative 93 and what is the other cord 384 boom okay we've got that all slocked and secured let's take a quick looky loo around i want quartz i'm not gonna get quartz in this biome plus this is an early game disaster of a biome there are baddies here that will hurt me and if i'm not mistaken i actually think the oh there's a soul sand valley over there 
Okay, okay. What's I, I just want to look a, lo a little bit over here. Oh, that's perfect. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. I'm going down there to mine all kinds of stuff. So far, the trip has been pretty successful, apart from almost dying twice and then running into a skeleton and getting shot 14 times. Uh, so far, the pickaxe durability is up to 848 from about 100. So not bad. Just waiting for my health to regen because I just saw another fortress and I really want to go in there. I don't know if I have been to another fortress. That's like the one thing I'm very unsure of. So it's this guy right here has got to go. You got to die, my dude. Thank you. Then these guys got to die. I, hopefully I can get these guys to like to shoot themselves. Very. Oh, he's not going to target his friend, huh? Well, he did a lot of the work for me. Can't really take credit there. <laughs> Can't really take credit there. Okay. So I think the only thing that I, I think I really want out of here is probably blaze rods. Obviously, that's like. Okay, well, I've definitely never been here before then. That, that's helpful. That's actually extremely helpful. Okay, let's uh, let's get looking. All right, that was very good. I got about nine blaze rods so far. Um, I would like to find the interior of this place so we can get a little bit of loot though. But the question is, where is it? Oh, there it is. Never mind. That was easy. <laughs> okay. All right. I uh, probably be pretty wise to get some extra blocks here just to be safe and not get lost because we are pretty far away from the house already. So let's just uh, try to keep track of where we are. Oh, wow, dude. Let's go. No baddies. I just realized I cannot this. <laughs> I can't hear anything. Okay. All right, that was a pretty successful run to the nether. Had some pretty close calls. Um, one of the things that I noticed right away was that we, although the, that spawn was pretty sketchy, it's actually really good for us because now we can go back and do some bartering actually, which is really cool. I'm really excited for that. I got quite a bit of quartz uh pickaxe durability like i said pickaxe durability went from probably 100 to about 971 which is pretty good honestly so the game plan is to take all of this gold from the bastion from the first episode go back in the biome that we just went into and not die and do some bartering and hopefully get some ender pearls all right so just killed those guys what did we get bad omen too not bad not bad that will let us get a totem of undying eventually because let's be honest i need it tenfold terrible at this game sometimes all right hopefully we get a great spawn right away like just a couple of these guys right off the rip here there's one there uh i don't know if i want to use that guy or not though All right, I have bartered through all of the gold. This is the results. I am extremely happy with that. Let's, um, let's see. What do I not need out of here? 
pretty much going to keep everything, I think. I don't know if there was the... I don't know if there would be anything I would throw away. Maybe some of the gravel. Uh, so the boots, we have Soul Speed 2, Soul Speed 1, 3, and 1. Uh, 18 total ender pearls, which was like a big, big lifesaver. We have Soul Speed 2 and Soul Speed 3. Let's go. Heck yeah. Tons of potions. We got a bunch of arrows. We could use those to fight the dragon if we wanted to. That would be pretty easy. Tons of uh, tons of splash potions, leather quartz, all the good stuff, man. That like that that really worked out in our favor. Not only that, but we got iron as well. How much iron did we get? We I think we had a couple when we came in here, but dude, let's go. That's so great. That's perfect. All right, time to have a little bit of fun. I don't know if we're gonna beat the dragon today or not, but I definitely at least want to get to the stronghold. So let's do that. So got my ender pearls and everything ready to go. Turn this into our powder. I'll make two eyes for now. Okay, which way are we going? I think I got everything I need. Pretty sure. Yeah, okay. Which way are we going? Pretty much going straight that way. In Oh, wow. That's just bad luck. Okay. Well, if it's having us go straight this way, I'm guessing it's either going to be 2,500 or 2,000. Okay, let's try again. Wow, still going that way. Maybe it's going to take us more towards 2,000 then. So our current cords are 2,500, 700, and it's having us go in the positive direction or negative positives or negative direction. So maybe like a thousand, negative a thousand, 2,000, or a, I'm pretty sure it lines up to the, the whole numbers. So maybe like a thousand something like maybe a thousand negative thousand two thousand probably my guess i'm grabbing the sugar cane while i'm here too because i need as much sugar cane as i can get my hands on okay so my ender my eye of ender just broke right here i threw it over there and it i'm, I'm almost positive it's like uh probably let's see it went up into this chunk so it's either this chunk or this chunk i want to say probably let's see if i threw it over there and it went up into this one it would i think it's got to be this one right i'm not sure let's test it though uh okay so we're gonna go to four four right here but i'm gonna scoot over just a singular block and then dig down two just in case there's something here and you know want to be careful so hopefully this is it and we don't have to dig around a lot because that would be kind of awful i have no idea when to stop digging oh diamonds hell yeah okay well i'm glad i kept digging that worked out pretty well but again i mean negative 13 i feel like i'm going too far anything Come on, game. I don't want to dig down to negative 50. That seems a little much. Negative. Oh. Wow. That was like. You just get yourself in there, Jevin. That's a great idea. Man, that was really low. Negative 29? I'm not sure that I have ever seen one that deep into the world before, though. All right. Well, I found a treasure chest up here. And then the library is right over there. So that works out pretty well. Um, uh, two, oh, double library. That was very convenient. <laughs> the game, uh, why are you being so nice to me all of a sudden? Okay. Oh, piercing. And then we got the eye template. Let's go. All right, let's go see what the other uh, chest holds. I know that there's a chest upstairs. We'll come back and check them out. I'm not super bothered about looking right now. Uh, smithing, sharpness, pow, wow. Okay. Just all the good stuff, man. Oh, oh my God. Woo. Okay. Compose yourself, Jevin. I just heard silverfish. So they're like, uh, up here? It's gotta be in here, right? Wow. Okay. So from the beginning, let's see, we came in, it was like, I just saw daylight. So this is daylight right here. So down, wow, we like 
took me a solid 20 minutes to find this room and it was like right here the whole time all i had to do was walk forward literally walk forward that's ridiculous all right well i think i am ready to go let's do it guys so i can't believe it was that close i spent 20 minutes looking for this dang thing decided to grab another set of blocks to go in let's do this thing shouldn't be too bad of a fight i don't think okay well off to a good start we're not on an island and that's uh, a pretty big win so let's do this thing i'm probably gonna speed this fight up to be honest with you pretty uh pretty boring stuff so we're just gonna kind of cut through it i think we'll see what happens here let's see what we got as soon as we get out of this nonsense let me live my life game oh my god how far do we gotta go okay we just gonna keep going up then baby all right what we got what we got uh you know that's not so bad all right first things first let's get rid of these towers All right, we're just about done. That went very quickly. Play the time in just a second. A few more shots here. I should have brought some uh, some books with me and like an enchantment table. That would have been very helpful. But we're going to get a lot of XP. We'll be able to repair our pickaxe. No problem, I think. I would hope so. I got, uh, I got really lucky with the tower placements on this dragon because it was very easy there we go all done uh total recording time was six minutes and 59 seconds total i would say total time probably somewhere in the 550 range it would be like me to die to this guy rather than the dragon <laughs> god that's such a jevin thing to do okay dude will you die already i'm trying to go get my xp okay that's all taken care of hold this in our hands wow oh my god that was like instant repair that's insane lots of lots of juicy juicy xp let's go heck yeah dog make sure nothing fell in here okay so we got our end gateway the goal is to get an elytra as fast as possible because i still want to do something else this episode if i have time okay i think i had the keybinds wrong i'm pretty sure it's caps because i have it set to uh stress my run key is that okay there we go let's do it good spawn good spawn anything anything at all we're full tilt kind of a bit eh, maybe not so much just pearl over okay 
let's uh grab our cords 1019 okay there we go we've got a cord set let's take off so basically i'm just looking for an ancient city or an ancient city yes jevin that is what we are looking for an in city uh and then we will head back at the second that i get an elytra All right, took me about 2,000 blocks almost. Let's see, we're at negative 700, 1,700. So uh, the end gateway is on a zero axis if you're walking one way. So I'm pretty sure it was like about 1,400 blocks. I just kind of got lucky, to be honest with you. Uh, one situation where I almost died. So game plan, kill the shockers in the middle portion and i might try to go up to the big room we'll see all right we're almost there i think another 10 or 15 blocks i'm hoping that we can get maximum drops from these guys in this one we have three shells right now without you know we could get three drops which would give us like what four boxes in total which would be pretty darn amazing but with how our luck is going, we'll see. Wow, come on. Let's go. Heck yeah, dude. Oh, look at that, baby. I'm breaking three. I'll take them. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. That's hype. That's so hype. All right, so we got our Lytra. Let's grab this. I think he went inside. Oh, stop teleporting. It's awful. I know that you hit them in their clothes, they teleport, but I'm just being lazy. Head back to the base. It was pretty much everything that we got. So we got some pretty cool armor, unbreaking three, blast protection, elytra. Uh, uh, this is the big winner. This is going to help us so, so much. Um, four diamonds, some iron, you know, just all the normal stuff. And I'm looking forward to using that a lot. Having a slow pickaxe is kind of the worst. So uh, next up, I think I want to do some enchanting. I don't know if I have enough stuff for that, though. Uh, I also kind of want to make a farm. So anyways, let's move on, I think. So in our first episode, uh, we went caving. And when we went caving, we actually found a double spawner. Now, I know we have a lot of XP. Ooh, I think it's this way. I want to say it's this way. We can go both ways, though. Um, now, in our first episode, we, like I said, we found a double spawner. We have a ton of XP right now. So it's not a huge deal if we don't have a lot of XP, but... Um, you know, we want some residuals coming in so we can repair our elytra and stuff. I just got that mending book. Uh, so we are pretty much good to go. So if we go all the way down this way, I can't remember what mobs were at the spawner. Hopefully something good, like a um, non-zombie spawner would be pretty darn amazing right about now. Let's go down. Okay, please be good. Please be good. Hmm. Uh, this way? Wow, yeah, I kind of just 
Oh, that was not what I wanted. Oh, spider, no. Okay, well, we have at least one zombie. We have some gunpowder here, which is very helpful. Uh, breach two. And okay, no, this is good. This will be a very easy spawner to make. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm gonna dig the floor out a few blocks and then trench them to me with water. Um, I pretty much have everything that I need to make a um, uh, enchanting setup except for obsidian, which I'm kind of hoping I can just kind of maybe look around and find some. Uh, so first things first, I need to just make a small time lapse of me digging out some work. Uh, I waited because I wanted to use this big axe. So I didn't know I was going to get it. But I was hoping I would. I was hoping I would find one. So anyways, let's get to it. I think first thing we're probably going to do is the enchanting table. Now, funny enough, it only took me um, like like nine trips back to the base to remember that I actually had rockets and elytra. So that was fun. I walked back a lot. All right. Enchanting table is done. Not getting the achievement for that makes me think that I already crafted one, which could be the case. I'm not exactly sure. Anyways, um, got a ton of books from the, uh, the stronghold and let's go ahead and finish this sucker. That'll be helpful. Uh, so let's see, we'll put this here and then there and then there. All right. So we can now fully enchant. I also brought an anvil with me. I suppose the only thing that I kind of forgot was a grindstone. Now I, if I can remember how to make one, I will. Uh, do that. I want to say that it, I think it's smooth stone that it uses, like smooth stone slabs. So let's go a little bit of that. Um, so like I said, we have anvil. We're going to use that anvil in just a second. Did I, maybe I didn't bring the anvil with me. I was just going to craft one. There we go. And uh, are we one? No, we got it. Okay, so stone is done. All right, we have a grindstone. Perfect, perfect. Got everything that we are going to need. Now, I kind of want to see how much it's going to cost to get just a little bit of a repair on this helmet. Uh, two diamonds gets us... Uh, yeah, you know what? That's fine. Perfect, perfect. We'll do mending on the tools, though. Um, I think let's go ahead and see what enchants we get here. Uh, take that. Go here. Uh, anything good? Efficiency, unbreak. Okay, I'll take it. That's like, that's exactly what I need. Okay, fortunate. You know, I'm not like super pressed on that. I am going to do a new sword, though. That is pretty atrocious. All right, what we got? Knockback 2. Okay, thanks, game. I um, I am appreciative of not that. Oh, that was awful. Oh, my God. What is going on? <laughs> I got lucky with the first two, and then it was just like, nah, fam. <laughs> Okay, that's like the best we could possibly ask for. All right, so our... Uh, oh, we got to do a helmet. Got to do a helmet. Helmet enchant is... I'll take it. Aqua affinity, fire protection. Okay, so current enchants are... Uh, fire protection, aqua affinity. Unbreaking. Blast protection, four. Unbreaking. Mending on the four, uh, pickaxe. Sharpness, looting. Efficiency, fortune. And then the basic stuffs. So we got uh, all of the enchanting stuff done and a lot of blocks to go with it. 
which is pretty awesome. So now let's go ahead and finish up this guy. Okay, there's our first spawn. All right. Let me make sure I put those blocks back. I did. Perfect. Perfect. Break that up. Okay, so in here, let me turn gamma off just to see what it looks like because I don't want to make sure that the light is not shining in there too much. Perfect. Perfect. Um, Yeah, I know this will this will work perfect. Yeah, no problem. So we have just a little bit of a residual XP coming towards us. Uh, okay. The only issue that I am seeing is the spiders. So to fix that issue, first off, let's kill these guys. It looks like it's working pretty good. This is enough for us to just like repair. I'm not looking for maximum amount of, uh, of repair space here. All right. So just to fix that, you know, just like that. And we should be good to go. We can also kill them from right here too. Awesome. All right. I think we made pretty good progress in this video. Went to the end, beat the dragon, got uh, what we needed. Elytra is getting repaired and we're getting some residual XP and we still have a bunch of XP to do some more enchanting. So apart from um, just basic Minecraft stuff, I think we're pretty much good to go. We're getting some loot too. That's great. I think that's probably going to do it for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is Hi Jevin. Peace out, everybody.